yeah, what problems is that going to solve in the real world or what implications will that have? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of implications. It's a good question. So, you know, there's a lot of problems with the way the, the internet is kind of constructed right now. Uh, you think like, you know, you could think of like Facebook, you could think of uh, all these uh, giant technology companies, which currently own data uh, on all their users, users and monetize that data. Obviously, with, you know, what we're trying to do in the decentralized world is we're trying to decentralize all that power out and such that it can't be monetized at the user's expense, but rather uh, they can benefit from all the things that they're doing online. So that that's you know, an overarching goal, Facebook being one example of something that, mm -hmm. you know, or even Uber, Airbnb, all these things are, are effectively middlemen. And, and that's essentially what a decentralized protocol is. Like you think of something like Aave. Aave is a decentralized protocol that connects lenders and borrowers across crypto. Now, there's no reason you can't have something like that for Uber, you know, and, and not have to pay a, a fee to, to the, to the, you know, to the corporation, but have that actually get paid to the protocol and everybody. You know, um, one example I like to use is imagine all the Uber drivers owned all the Uber stock when Uber had the IPO rather than all the investors, right? I mean, mm -hmm. that's kind of the difference or one of the big differences between crypto and, uh, and essentially the way the traditional world works. It's where you kind of get paid for your work and you can benefit from being an early adopter.